So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to search and type in Ford Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're going to click on this PC on the left-hand side. And then you're going to find the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's probably going to be your C drive. But you're going to know which one it is because it has the Windows logo on it. So now once you find it, you want to right-click on it. And then click on Properties. And then click on Security. And then you want to click on Advanced. And now this will come up. And now once you're on this, you want to click on Change Permissions. And now you want to click on Add. And now you want to click on Step to Principal. And now this will come up. And now under Enter the Object Name, you want to type in your username. If you do not know your username, you want to head over to Search and type in Find Explorer. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on this PC. And then you want to click on the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's going to have the Windows logo on it. You want to double click on it. And then you want to click on Users. And then it's going to show you what your username is. So for me, it's going to be Speedy Tutorials. So I'm just going to type in right here. Speedy Tutorials. In my case, this is my username. You just want to type in your username that you find in the Users folder. And now once you type in your username, you want to click on OK. And now you want to tick Full Control. And now everything here should be selected. And you want to make sure that the type has been set to Allow. And that Applies To has been set to this folder, Subfolder and Files. And now you want to click on OK. And now you want to click on Apply. And then click on Yes. And now you want to click on Continue if you get this. Continue again. You might get this for a few of them, so just click on Continue on all of them. Continue. 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 Continue, continue, wait for it to load. And now once you've done that, you want to click on OK, click on OK again. And now you should restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.